a good morning friend welcome to my channel and uh, once again i'm going to share with uh, one video with you which could help you to find the overseas opportunity before starting let me introduce myself my name is sanjay currently i'm working with uh, automotive industry in the sweden it's a nordic country in the europe and uh, i'm having 14 plus years of experience after completion of a masters in the embedded systems um, i am having uh, the good skills in the simulation and having the good professional experience in electrification of the vehicle on the high voltage that's a very brief introduction about myself so let's start with the video i will take you through the video and make sure that how you can find the overseas employment and abroad opportunity if you are looking for the uh, abroad opportunity or uh, i would say uh, the overseas employment this video is definitely helpful and uh, uh, will help you to find uh, the right way so if you uh, want to apply, want to grab the opportunity, there are so many questions come in your mind and there are different process or steps you need to follow. Out of that, the first one is the, your CV. The second one is how to apply. Third one is where you find the opportunity. Then fourth one is uh, the authentication and the last one is the preparing for the interview. So I will take you through all the steps today and please watch this video, share, like and subscribe my channel as well so let's start the first one is your cv when we talk about the cv cv is your uh, professional as well as educational history which reflects the professional and educational skills so make sure that you prepare your cv very very um, in, in very very effectively so while preparing the cv make sure that you would not make your cv too much large when I say the too much large, that means if you are holding 10 plus years of experience, two pages are good enough. If you are holding five years, five years of experience, one page is good enough. What you have to do, you just have to highlight your key skills. That's very important. Highlight your key skills, highlight your projects, highlight your role and responsibility. That's it. No need to highlight your educational backgrounds or educational details. Make sure that how you can compart your CV is always better uh, to get shortlisted because recruiters can easily find out your skill set that's very important moving to the next step that is the procedure where you can find and how you can apply there are different 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 social networks uh, professional social networks available one two of them are linkedin and the second is a baby baby is a b e b double -E, e in asia in europe as well as in the united states linkedin is widely used Along with that, in Europe and United States, as well as in Africa, uh, this baby is used. So I would suggest make yourself registered on this website. These are the very commonly used uh, social uh, uh, professional networks which could help to build your network, to post your um, professional activities and build, uh, connect with the other professional as well. So this is the genuine way to find the job. How you can find the job? That's very important. So these are the two social networks I have explained you. Uh, that's one, uh, the, uh, the social networks, uh, LinkedIn and the baby. Now, before you find uh, the overseas opportunity, there are three ways to find the overseas opportunity, right? The first one is you can um, directly find the opportunity in the overseas. The second one is you can either um, get the on-site opportunity and third one is you can go uh, for the higher studies in the overseas countries right so going for higher studies and then finding the job it's slightly difficult the second one uh, is uh, which I'm going to explain is um, either you can get the on-site opportunity if you are working in your home country and uh, looking for the opportunity if your organizations allows you to work on-site that is the easiest way to get the on-site opportunity and third one that is very important which we have to follow I had followed that's directly finding the opportunity overseas right so as I explained earlier the LinkedIn and baby very first step is where you have to register yourself after registration what you have to do you have to just put down in the search tab with your skill set what field you want to work and uh, what are the your skill set where you want to um, find the opportunity uh, search over there as well as you can put down the filter over there on the countries where specifically you are looking for the opportunity that's the very beauty of this uh, linkedin and the baby just make sure that you put down your uh, 
uh, skill set and also apply the filter for the specific country and these are the two very easiest way to find the opportunity and that the, the next one is uh, um, uh, I guess uh, like nokri.com and uh, these uh, monsters which are very common in India in Asia uh, there are different uh, uh, websites as, as well so I'm going to share that details with you soon uh, but these are the two very commonly very effectively used uh, ways to find the overseas opportunity now once you find the opportunity how you can apply for that and how you authenticate that and how you prepare for the interview that's very important steps so let's start with that the next procedure is to application once you find there is an opening there you can directly apply through the LinkedIn but my suggestion is instead of directly applying just find out for which organizations that opening is open go to their website on their portal and fill your all details over there upload your CVs as well and and then uh, submit the application that is the genuine way to apply for the position and another and the third step is if you get the notification on your LinkedIn or in the baby profile that there is opening my suggestion is pull out that details find the email address of the recruiter and send your CV to him as well prepare your first letter that's called a cover letter that's very important very short and uh, very effectively prepare your cover letter along with your cover letter and along with your CV share with the recruiter that's the second way the first way is uh, directly applying through the LinkedIn and the second way is uh, sharing your uh, cover letter and the CV to the recruiter and third is going to the portal of that organization and then putting your all details that's very important you have to follow all these three steps because the authentication is is definitely dependent on three processes if you are doubting on the position this process will definitely make sure that you are applying to the right way and the right uh, direction because if that position is open recruiter is approaching you definitely that position is open on the website of that organization so that is the authentication make sure that you will apply in uh, LinkedIn as well as sharing your CV as well as you are going to the portal of that organization that's very important this is called the authentication I have covered this point and the last step is preparing for the interview so on the interview I will going to share I will going to prepare another video how you can prepare for the interview what are the different steps which are mostly being uh, followed in the Sweden as well as in European countries currently I am working in Sweden it's Nordic country in automotive domain so um, so how you can uh, specially prepare for the European countries because in Europe as well as the United States uh, most of the organization ask you for preparing for the psychological test so what are the different interviews how to prepare for that how you can go for the next level I will cover in my next video thanks for watching my video Please like, share and subscribe.